Good morning, everyone. It's Cal. We're playing some more Salt and Sanctuary. We are heading back. Stupid traps. Uh, we're heading back to where we left off earlier to hopefully get the item that I was looking for. Um, and then probably do a bit of a grind because I have. I really don't want to walk all the way back down to the area where I just died to get my salt back. Um, that was almost a... didn't have a choice in the matter. <sighs> so yeah. Wow. Okay, I was just picking up items and accidentally found a secret passage. We'll take it. Bundle of salt. That'll help me get back up to where I was. Uh, I'm gonna need salt for doing uh, weapon upgrades eventually here. Actually, where does this go? I think this goes out at an easier to get to place without having to cross all of those gaps. Less risky place. Yeah. Let's real quick check here. Um, so one thing, one of the things we're going to do on the way back is buy locks of hair from the, uh, from the, uh, beggar. Now, he won't let you sell item, which makes sense. He's a beggar. Um, <laughs> so we want to sell items here before we head back that way. Um, and we're gonna sell this great, or this great hammer... We're gonna sell this pitchfork, because I don't think I'm gonna use it. Sell this whip. I don't think I'm gonna use it. I'm keeping the sword. Um. Oh, there's armor. There we go. So we're gonna sell this chain armor, and we're gonna sell this onyx armor. Oh jeez. Yup. We're not using a heavy. I'll keep the rest for now, just as a backup, but that's a class 2 buckler. Um, I might keep that one. Weight is still high, but it's still a buckler. Um, so yeah, I think that's where we're gonna, what we're gonna sell. That leaves us with 2,900. Um... And I think I'm just going to leave that as is. And we're going to come across to here. Back through the festering banquet. This is the way. No. I think it's down a little. Yeah, right here. Trinkets for coin. Okay, so we're gonna grab locks of hair. Those are 500 apiece. Okay, that's more than I thought. Um, yeah, but we're gonna grab all we can. And we're very close to getting one more, so I think I might grind that out quick. Yeah, no problem.
And this should be, this was the shortcut I just unlocked as well. So now we should be able to cut across here. And this should take us back to where we were. The fall, yes. So this is right next to where we fought the false jester. Um. I think this is just a stairway, but let's light a torch just to be safe. And then... <clears throat> let's go this way. There we go. And that is what we were looking for. Stone Alchemist. That lets us do... or that is what we need to actually do the crafting systems in this game. So I haven't really done much in the way of a grind on stream yet, um, but I feel like this is the point where I'm going to do that, because we have a bunch of stuff to do right now. bunch of stuff, I mean a bunch of stuff to spend money on. And by money, I mean salt. <laughs> Apparently what I'm saying is that I'm not actually saying what I mean at all. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back down here. We're gonna go make offering. Stone Alchemist. Oh, we get to keep the shop. Nice. Um, and we're gonna do an arming sword. No. Maybe what? Okay, there we go. That guy. We need thirty-five hundred salt for that. Okay. <clears throat> so, I guess I don't know how much salt is in this pack. That seems like a good starting point. Yeah, that was a good starting point. That's almost enough already. That is exactly enough. Arming sword with Amber Idol. Uh, this item is actually why we took the Amber Idol at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Wretch Feeder Maw and 3500 salt. We're going to turn that into a Tachi. So current attack rate is 15, and this is going to jump up to 30. So doubling our attack. Um, the other thing with this is, that is using it one-handed currently. It also has the reach of a sword and the speed of a dagger. So this is a really good item. <laughs> and 
one of the builds I saw was basically, hey, do a dex build and then go for this cool sword. And that was right up my alley. So I think, actually, can we just keep adding people to this? Oh, wait, no, it is the black. Yes, so let's try... We go Tachi, Locks of Hair, and Salt. Okay, yep. So we can start upgrading that here. Let's give it a... Let's go take it for a spin. Maybe... We, I, I'm glad we didn't actually need to do a grind. Um... Oh, wow. I keep getting a little too close, which is understandable. But those guys are going down fast. Um, okay, so I assume we can... Okay, that's really cool. Also say this is part of the reason that I what getting this item since I had found the wretch feeders and figured we were close was part of the reason that I had put off doing the Cyclops boss. Because I figured that getting these equipment upgrades would probably go along. And I feel vindicated in that decision. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do go back over here. Explore this way a little. Very cool. Voracious charm. Leeches hit points. Okay, that's always good. Especially in the with the limited healing in this game and the fact that we're attacking quickly. I feel like that could be a really good item for us. I think this had rich feeders up here. And along the way down here, maybe? Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. So we didn't have to do much of a grind yet, but I think I am going to take a few moments here. Um... Because that is now an extremely safe spot, it looks like, to just get a bit of salt. Uh, let's see what we need. So we're going to do... Let's go Hachi. Yes. Hachi. We do one more yeah we can soldier's poem but so we don't even need locks of hair for that uh let's go tarnished cornet i think we're gonna do the same thing here and do two on that because that uh attack boost is really good oh we don't have salt okay The other thing I want to check at some point here is 
Uh, we can also try using this two-handed. <laughs> So those guys are a lot of salt all at once for what they are. And it, the fact that we can take them down in one hit now feels almost bad. Like, I almost feel bad about that. Um, that's also a soldier's poem and a thousand. Okay, so let's get 2,000 salt quick. To do that la that third upgrade on both of them. Oh, I didn't heal. You have to heal to trigger the enemy respawns. So we'll do one more pass, should get us up to the 2,000 we want. And then I'm feeling pretty good about going and doing some bosses and stuff. Maybe going and exploring some of those areas that have caused given us problems before, maybe even uh, going back and hunting some of those knights from the first areas that we had been kind of passing over. Um, because I feel like we're going to do enough damage now. Um, blacksmith. Upgrade. Achi up to three. And Coronet up to three. I don't actually know if this upgrades our attack further each time. I don't think it does. The big thing to me with the Coronet is that I'm going to be using it and I want it to give as much defenses along with that boost as possible. Because the defenses it gives aren't great. The arcane defense will be amazing. And I kind of wish I had that for that uh, previous boss, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, awesome samurai hat. Uh, this is where we're at. Okay, so I'm out. Completely out of locks of hair again. Um, so I get, actually, you know what, we're at 18 minutes right now on this video, so I think I usually aim for about 20, and I bet I could do one more pass up to pick up. so fast. Twenty nine per hit. That is crazy. Okay. So this was the oh, that's the okay, that's not where I was.
This was the Jester's room. This is that stairwell. This is the shrine. Is that? Yeah, this is where we're going. Okay. So I'm gonna go up this way. This is back to where the beggar was. Bye. Three locks of hair, which will let us upgrade all of our armor once. Obviously, outside of the coronet that's already been upgraded three times. And I think that should be 750 salt as well. So by the time we get back, we should be good. I intentionally just did that for the sake of respawning the enemies along the way. Well, that's one way down. And hey, we found a crystal sphere. I'm not sure what a crystal sphere is or does. That is not what I wanted to do right there. Okay. Think this is where I wanted to go? Yes. I should be able to go this way. Stop with the blacksmith. Upgrade. Ragged hunt him. <clears throat> I could upgrade this, but I think at this point we may save up. Okay. And I think, like I said, this is the perfect point to wrap for this video. Um, we have made leaps and bounds in this last section. Um... Yeah, I think we're ready to go back down, find that Cyclops, and then see where we're at, do a little bit more exploring, and make some progress. I think this is probably good for our grind. We are well equipped now. <laughs> so, hopefully you are enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.